Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. Um, this one's going to be part two of the video that I released yesterday in regards to the uh, pick up like note kind of readable letter things for the player. Um, in this one I'm just going to show you how you can advance on it to make it a little bit more uh, pretty to look at in a sense or even just just a few more functionalities um, as a request that I got in an email yesterday um how do you like blur the background when the player is reading the letter so i'll show you how to do that um and i'll also show you how to create duplicate copies of it without affecting the original um so without further ado let's jump in and i'll show you that now so yesterday in the video that i released we got as far as um, so obviously we had the table here with the letter on, obviously mine looks a little bit different now, I made like a, an old curled up piece of paper in Blender and then imported it into Unreal. So what, what we do is, we're going to go into our content browser and you should remember that you have the blueprint for the note and you've got the widget blueprint for the readable note of what you see on the screen when the player picks up the letter or the newspaper article or whatever it is that you're creating. So, what we are going to do is open up our um, widget blueprint. So you'll have this screen. And in a lot of games, when you pick up a letter to read it, it wants you to focus on reading the object and it blurs out the background, which adds a little bit of fear for the player because you can't quite see everything that's going on around you properly so if you notice here I've highlighted this thing called background blur so to find that you go up to your palette on the top left I'm going to type in blur and we're going to get a background blur so we're going to drag that in onto our canvas panel um, and then we're going to go into the settings I'm going to set the strength to let's say 6 I'm going to make sure that it's not, so I'll show you, so we want to make sure that our text is on top of the background blur and not behind it, so that should be fine, let's set this strength to 5. Well, this hasn't been blurred yet so we need to drag this so at the top left here we have our background blur box so we're going to drag that so it covers the full screen and you can see there that anything it goes over it's going to blur so we then want to anchor it to the center of the screen which is this one so click on anchors in the drop down box click on a central anchor and i'm going to get our text i'm going to drop it on top of the blur and then compile and save so if we go into our level and we walk over to our note to pick it up and then left click, you'll notice that the background image of your level will be blurred out. <coughs> you can have a play with that setting, you can make it more blurry by just changing the blur strength here. So set to a value of 10 compile, go back in, play, and then if you go back over to your note and pick it up, it's even more blurry than it was before. So that's just something you can uh, change and alter yourself, play around with the settings, see what you prefer, see what you like, whatever you like the look of, you can keep that for your own games. Um, and another important setting that I didn't mention yesterday that I've also had a question about is how to if you've got more than one note in the game, so let's show you an example. So let's make this table here and then we'll copy and paste this table here. So we have two notes in the world and we want this one. So let's uh, make a duplicate of our widget blueprint. So right click and duplicate that. And then let's go into this one and we're going to change the text here to uh, this is a du 
duplicate. Learn to spell, mate. Duplicate copy of um, the original. And we we'll compile and save that. They just love those brain fart moments. And then we know that this one says text block, text block. And then this one says this is a duplicate. So we now got two notes that we can have onto our note pickup blueprint. So if we go into the game and we go, oh, okay, well, I want this one. And then a lot of people might go, well, okay, well, if I go into this blueprint, is this not a different one? So let's set this one to, to that, compile and save. So then technically, right, because that's a different one than this one, that will have a different note to that one, right? That's what you may think, but it doesn't always work like that. So if I pick this one up now and then walk away, let's put that down. And then I go over here and we go and pick this one up. Well, it, okay, so it says the same. So how do we fix that? So the easiest way, the most simple way to fix that is if you go into your blueprint where you have your create note pickup widget just here on the screen. So if you go into your note pickup blueprint, so if you go in your content browser, it's this one, the actor, not the widget. So we open that up and you'll notice here where we have our selection for the note that we want the player to be able to read. It's a variable. So all you do is right click, promote to variable and that's it, done. So then if we compile and save and go down here to class and then click on the public variable, compile again, save it. And then now we don't need to set it anymore in the blueprint. So what we can do then is set it on an individual basis. So I could have uh, 20 of these, 30 of these, 100, 1000, but you don't have to make another copy. So a lot of people will do is they'll duplicate their note and then they'll drag that in and then they'll attach this note to that one, this one to that one. You don't need to do that. All you have to do is make it a um, variable in your blueprint, just as I've shown. So now if we click on this, we'll notice down here, we have that class variable that we just created that we've made public. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to go into our content browser control space bar let's move that to there <clears throat> and then we're going to select this one and then we're going to go onto our uh, duplicate note and then we're going to left click so now we've set this one to the other and that one is the duplicate one so that one will be that one and the one we just clicked on then will be this one. So then if we go over to our note and we left click, text block, text block. And then if we go over to this one, this is a duplicate copy. So it means that you're keeping your content browser cleaner and you've learned a new technique there, open a public variable so you can set this um, to be whatever note you like once you place them. So you can place all of these notes around the level and then you can create your widgets and then you can add them individually to each one of your notes depending on what your story or your lore is for your game. Um, so that's that and that's everything. That's just a quick, hopefully helpful <coughs> Um, part two tutorial to the notes that we did yesterday. Um, so yeah, if you found this helpful, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, you want to help the channel grow, so it helped me get more content out for everybody to learn together, then please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, I appreciate everybody that has subscribed. It's awesome that you have. You're helping the channel grow. You're helping me, um, and it's brilliant that you've done that. I really do appreciate it. Um, and thank you again to my patrons as well. I um, appreciate you. So that's it for this video. If you uh, feel like you've learned something, like I said, hit the like button. If you need any help, click on the comments and post something and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. 
Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys and girls. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.